Here we are at the septic repair, looking at the cast iron lead going into the house. And uh, just to give you a point of reference, this would be the lead that's coming out from the back courtyard door. And so I'm down in the trench after the uh, septic, uh, the new PVC piping has been installed. And you can see there's our four inch fern co connecting the PVC pipe to the cast iron lead going through the basement into the house. And you can see there's an area on the pipe that's uh, missing. That's a problem, uh, but this is how we're gonna solve it. I think the problem occurred by when we were digging down, kind of hitting the top of this pipe with the blade of the shovel uh, in order to excavate the dirt. And then it weakened the top, which of course this pipe is at least 80 to 100 years old. So um, you would consider the cast iron's getting a little brittle. And so rather than make the project of drilling through the home and reinstalling a cast iron lead, of course, when the time comes, if that's what's necessary, that's what we'll have to do. But for now, this should be fine, especially since it's on the top portion of the pipe. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use some uh, JB Weld. So I've got the steel stick here and um, it's used for iron. Then we've got cast iron there on the, the pipe. And then it says to do repair rust damage. So we're gonna believe that. Um, and so here it is the product right here. And we're simply going to uh, knead this together with our hands and then install this. So it's a two-part epoxy. You can see the uh, two parts are, uh, there's the, the dark gray part in the middle, and then there's the uh, light gray casing. Once I start to knead these together, then um, we'll be able to put it on. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, is I'm gonna knead this. Now, usually epoxy begins to warm up um, hoping this is safe with my hands as I'm holding this with my right hand and kneading with my left hand. And all we want to do is really make a casement for the top of this pipe so that we can have a seal. We don't want dirt getting down in there. We don't want this with the pressure of the dirt on top of it beginning to crush. So we're gonna case this in, first with some steel epoxy. And uh, after that's done, we'll consider some hydraulic cement if we need kind of a thicker shell to carry the load. All right, here we are. Looks like we've got a good need. Now, you can see it looks kind of shiny in the middle there. I've taken a wire brush and cleaned it off. And now I've got a, I took a file kind of filed it down. So really, I'm just gonna put this on here and uh, press it in and form a casement over this pipe. And get it right up to the edge there. And that will harden there and stay there. And there's our pipe repair. I'll reach out to a friend and see if we need uh, a, a thicker, heavier duty, kind of like hydraulic cement casement on top of that to uh, distribute the load of the dirt evenly around the dirt on the side so that this doesn't kind of crush in from the top. And uh, barring that, We'll consider our repair complete.